my name is Dolly Burwell, and currently I'm serving as Director of Constituent Service for Congressman G.K. Butterfield, who represents the 1st Congressional District in North Carolina, currently made up of about 24 counties. Warren County, North Carolina, I was born, I was actually born in Vance County, which is the county adjacent to Warren County, just just over the line. When we saw the notice in the paper and and saw there were going to be a hearing, you know, we just stopped calling people and 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 started talking to people in the uh, in church and and schools wherever we wherever I could get and even just calling people on the phone. And saying this is this is, this chemical is not something we want in our community. That a landfill is not going to work. And and working with other people in the community, the uh, Deborah and Ken Ferruccio, and other people who had the same concern. I don't think everybody uh, was interested in social justice. <laughs> a lot of people who came out were people who were trying to protect. Their, their property, people who were um, afraid because the school was so close and they had kids in school. Uh, I don't think we, we really expected national attention. And quite frankly, was kind of, was quite surprised that first day. Um, we had a pre-march that Sunday uh, from a flatbed trailer. Um, People spoke, I spoke, the Ferruccio spoke, uh, several of the, the ministers in the area spoke. Uh, the next day, I think we probably had at least three or 400 people marching with us. Um, we had already determined, we, we had, a ra had the rally at Culver Spring uh, early that morning. And then we decided we would we would march from the land from the church down to the entrance of the landfill. We sung freedom songs. This was August. School was out of 1982. Was no school, so we had kids uh, marching with us. We we literally got where the trucks would have to come into the landfill, and we just stopped in the road and block the trucks. Actually, the trucks never made it down to where we were. I think they they had at least 200 highway patrolmen that was there. That first day of marching, I, I know I was arrested, and I think several of the young people was arrested. The day following that, I think, was when um, a lot of people from came in from all around and I marched with us, and it was a, it was almost a routine every day. Certain people would get arrested. Certain people who were willing to block the trucks uh, would get arrested, and uh, and and that continued. I think I think I thought about it more afterwards than I thought about it then, because everybody was just so focused on how unjust it was. Even though you had whites, blacks, Native Americans, young, old, you know, coming together, it was really probably the first time, the first time in history that I think blacks, whites, and Native Americans uh, came together uh, to, to, to protest uh, or to speak out.